Close your eyes and watch your breath. Feel the breath all the way in, all the way out. Start with some good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. It's not just at the nose. You can feel it in the chest, you can feel it in the abdomen, you can feel it in the shoulders. So notice where you feel it. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Try shorter breathing, or in short, out long, in long, out short. Heavy, light, fast, slow. Try to see what kind of breathing feels right for the body right now. Right in the sense of bringing things into balance. If you're feeling tired, breathe in a way that gives you more energy. If you're feeling tense, breathe in a way that's more relaxed. When the breath feels good, think of the whole body breathing in, the whole body breathing out. This way you're establishing yourself here in the present moment, developing good qualities in the mind. That's what the word for meditation in Pali means. Bhavana means development. Because even without thinking about it, you're, you're being mindful. You're keeping something in mind. You're being alert. You're watching what's going on. And you're ardent. You're trying to do this well. It's the ardency that makes all the difference. If you just go through the motions, it doesn't do much. But if you decide you really want to get the mind to stay right here, you want the mind to be trained. You tell it to do something, and it does it. For most of us, our minds are like, Animals living in a house that are not trained. They may be lovely, they may be adorable, but they make messes and they, they're out of control. You've got to bring them into control so you can get the best use out of them, so you can live together peacefully. Otherwise, the mind creates a lot of problems. We go through life, shaping our life by our actions. Where do our actions come from? They come from our intentions. And the intentions, where do they come from? They come from the mind. So you're looking after the source here. When you're looking after the source and it's in good shape, there's not a lot of cleaning up you have to do afterwards. If you let the mind just say and think and do whatever it likes, then you find the consequences sometimes can create a huge mess. You've got to go cleaning up all the messes you've made. So try to bring the mind under control, and do it in a way that it likes to be right here. That's why we breathe in a comfortable way. So the mind is happy to be here, happy to behave. And that way our merit becomes complete. We have generosity, we have virtue. And then there's the development of the mind. Of the three, that's the hardest. So give it a lot of attention. It's something you can do every day, every day. And the more you do it, the more the benefits will come. The more continuous your practice, the stronger it will be. And then you realize you've got the foundation of your life in good shape. Everything else is going to follow and be in good shape as well.